afternoon, boys and girls. Thank you so much. It's good to see you all here this afternoon as we kick off Arbor Day and also especially our Moon Tree Project. We want to thank Mayor Dodson from Hollidaysburg and Jim Garrett from Hollidaysburg. We want to thank Mr. Allen from University in New York and Mr. Koch and all of our student leaders who are kicking off this project with us. It's going to be an exciting year. We're about to launch uh, an, a project with Penn State to grow 100 second generation moon trees. So let's give a nice cheer for the excitement that it's going to bring. <laughs> Boys and girls, as today is Arbor Day, Arbor actually translates to tree day. And this is a holiday that we celebrate planting, upkeep, upkeep and preservation of trees. In 1907, that was a long time ago, President Teddy Roosevelt issued an Arbor Day proclamation to the school children of the United States about the importance of trees and the science of forestry and how it deserves to be taught in our school. Here in 2021 at Holy Trinity Catholic School, we are promoting what President Roosevelt said in 1907. Holy Trinity Catholic School will care for and grow, like I said, 100 second generation moon trees right inside this Apollo 21 training capsule. It's been very exciting to have it here with us. We were able to share it with our community at our food truck event on Wednesday and the crowd was around the capsule and the excitement was building. So we're going to build on that excitement and continue this adventure as we move forward. So thank you everyone for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for this opportunity that you're bringing to our school. Thank you, Mr. Refner, for leading the project. It's gonna be a great year. One more time, one more nice round of applause for all the wonderful people that are helping Holy Trinity. Good afternoon, everybody. <clears throat> I was approached by Professor David Allen and Mr. Koch about housing this Apollo training capsule on our school property. And I thought, my goodness gracious, what are we going to do with this? So then they told me that story about the moon tree seeds that were orbiting on the Apollo 14 mission orbiting around the moon. So those seeds, in turn, when they came back, were planted around the country. There is one out in Haldesburg by Highland Hall. That was planted in 1976. Okay, fast forward to March 1st, 2021. Our student leaders, Stella, and Evie Koch, stand up please. Round of applause. Have a seat. They went out and harvested these second generation seeds from the sycamore tree that was considered a moon tree. So when Mr. Or Professor Allen, David Allen and Mr. Koch approached me about this project, I thought, wow, that's pretty cool. So we are embarking on this together. We have our crews. I have an eighth grade crew. We have our seventh grade crew. And we have our sixth grade crew. Our fifth grade crew is in the works. Now joining me, me as an advisor is Mr. Carabinas, who is going to kind of lead and foster the growth of the fifth grade team. So that being said, I want you to recognize the eighth grade crew. Please stand. <clears throat> Have a seat. Our seventh grade crew, stand. Have a seat. Our sixth grade crew, please stand. <clears throat> Have a seat. So they're making this commitment. This is going to be a long project. As scientists and crew members and the student body out there, 
Sometimes it takes a long time for something to materialize. We are going to convert the Apollo training capsule into a greenhouse. And with the help of our partners from Penn State Master Gardener Program, Blair County Extension, we have Lisa Haas. At this time, I'd like you to come up and say a few things about what you're planning to do for us. A round of applause for Lisa Haas. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Um, first off, I really want to give a huge shout out to Mr. Allen for reaching out to us and Mr. Koch and Mr. Refner for heading up this enormous project um, and we're grateful to be a part of it. Um, what our capacity is going to be is we're going to be here as an advisory committee um, to Mr. Refner and, and to all of you kids. Um, we're going to be here to teach you how to plant the seeds and, and get the seeds to, to grow and, and be mature trees. Um, so we hope to, to be in this in the long haul with all of you. Um, and we're excited to work together. Thank you so much for having us. Hey, I'm Dave Allen um, from SUNY Maritime College in the Bronx, New York. And uh, I just wanted to, I'm, I'm delighted to be here, honored to be welcomed by Miss Spencer and, uh, and Doug and the rest of the crew here. And uh, awfully delighted to work with uh, all the students here. You guys are gonna be the core of, of pretty much everything. Um, and I apologize, I'm a history teacher. I'm used to an hour and 15 minutes, so I'm gonna make this a little bit shorter, but there's some history involved here with the capsule and a few other things. 50 years ago this spring, uh, a guy named Stuart Rusa took 50, 450 seeds to the moon in a capsule exactly like this. In fact, he trained in one of these, probably maybe even this one. He brought those seeds back here and had them planted all over the country. One of those in Hollidaysburg, as you heard. Um, when he did that, Mayor Dodson was there. He was walking by, young kid, saw this, thought it was interesting, and actually met, I think, the, the astronaut that planted it. It was planted by another astronaut, so I'll get to. Uh, that was 45 years ago when it was planted. Uh, Lieutenant Bobco helped plant the tree right there at Holidays Burke. And um, all of this program and the capsules were focused on the moon, including the, the trees. Um, 52 years ago, three guys went to the moon in 1969. One of them stayed on in the capsule and rotated the moon 34 times. That was a guy named Mike Collins. Mike Collins just died two days ago. He lived a long life, happy life, he, he said. And um, he said what, what it took us to get to the moon wasn't just, it, it was 10% uh, hard science and 90% luck. And I'm saying that we're lucky here to be here today I'm lucky that uh, Ms. Spencer uh, agreed to have, let us have the capsule here and, and have the program. Uh, we're lucky to have uh, Doug Refner here running the program from day one. Very enthusiastic. Very lucky to have Lisa Haas and Nancy here today to help us uh, work these trees because I can't grow hardly anything. And mostly we're lucky to have you Holy Trinity students that are here. You guys are going to be the foundation and the basis for the entire program. Um, like I said, I'm, we, I'm not sure how to, to uh, germinate seeds, but you, I guarantee you're going to learn to. Um, you have the right stuff. This whole program has the right stuff that we're going to need. And uh, there's another group that's interested, knows about this project. And if you, if you know SpaceX, you've probably heard of them. The SpaceX folks uh, said the first human to step on the moon or excuse, first human to step on Mars pro is probably sitting in a classroom today. And I'm saying, I'm gonna change that a little bit. First human to step on Mars is possibly sitting in the grass right here today. So uh, that's one of the reasons that uh, we're gonna help you, help you learn to grow out some of these plants and eventually grow plants on Mars. And that's what we're kind of looking for in the long run with this uh, project. So that's why I appreciate uh, everyone here, including the mayor, and this is, uh, I'm going to introduce the mayor here then, Mayor Dodson. And Mr. Garrett, if you can come on up. You want to say anything about the tree that day? Yeah, I will. Good. 
Good afternoon. Thanks for inviting me. And uh, back in 1976, I was a 40-year-old youngster. Now I'm an 84-year-old guy. And I was standing there when they planted the moon seed and uh, moon tree seed, and I got to talk to the lieutenant colonel for a few minutes. I don't remember what the conversation was, but uh, I had taken, I lived about a block and a half from there, and I took my two youngest kids down and walked down to see them plant the moon tree. And also at the time, there was what is called a pioneer family, a man and a woman and a small child that was uh, sculpted by uh, one of the local architects, Mr. Camel, and it sets now down by the courthouse. So I was very honored to be there that day and uh, watched it grow over the years. So thanks for having me. And uh, now I'll turn it over to the borough manager, Mr. Garrett. I'd like to thank everybody for having the mayor and myself here today. Uh, I do want to mention that uh, earlier this morning, we had another group of Holy Trinity School kids plant a tree in Haldysburg. Uh, we do that every year. We usually try to get the, the uh, lower school to have their, their students come. A bus brought them. They helped us plant a tree there. We do that every year. Um, and, you know, the mayor was there when the tree was planted. And I want to tell you something ironic. Uh, about 30 years ago, and don't let my wife find out how many years because I can't remember exactly, but uh, my wife and I were actually married under the moon tree. So I, I think it's kind of uh, serendipitous that, that the mayor planted it and I got married eventually under it. So, um, and then we're here today. So I'd like to thank everybody for having us. And, uh, you know, as you get older, you know, come to Haldysburg. If you haven't ever been there, uh, we're, we're one of the, the uh, Tree City USA for over 34 years. And we plant tons of trees every year, close to close to 30 to 40 trees every year we plant in the borough of Haldysburg. Thank you. You guys can stay up here just a sec. You know, these guys have uh, sort of babysat this moon tree for the last uh, 50, 45 years. And we have a present for them from the school here. Uh, there is uh, Mark and Stella and Evie cut a piece of that original tree off. We got permission. And we have a clone of that tree now growing in a mug, and if I'm going I'm to probably kill it when I pull it out. Almost did. This is the clone of that original tree. I'm just going to hold it up there. I didn't know it was going to do that. Yeah, if you got the bag, I got the tree, and I'm going to put that in there for temporary. And it is growing. Oh, wow, that's really nice. Yeah. Yay. and a little more sensitive. Go ahead, put it up there. For Mr. Garrett, we have a seed growing <laughs> from that tree. And that's gonna, you can get up with the hand on the handle there. This is gonna have to last for another 50 years and his wife's gonna take care of it. When your great grandkids are here, it's gonna be this high. And you're gonna have to take care of that for another 40 years. So be uh, ready. I hope we'll I'm... do our best. <laughs> Thanks for helping support the program. Thank you. We really do appreciate it. Thank you. And I'm supposed to have something else. It's down here. I'll bring them up. Okay. <clears throat> Stella and Evie, come on up. Mrs. Spencer, come on up. Okay, you get in the middle. Stella and Evie would like to give to Mrs. Spencer a couple gifts as a kickoff. So go ahead, you girls. Yeah. So, the capsule, yes. Oh, yeah. And you can present that to her. All right. So the one is the mug of the second generation sapling that was planted. And then Evie is giving to her the capsule because Evie's such a space camp nut. Oh, that's cute. <laughs> this is for 
This is for Elaine's desk, or Mrs. Spencer's desk. Okay. Perfect. Well, very cool. I'll hold that part. Right. Very well, nice. There you go. We'll kick it off. Here Thank you, go. you. Thank you very much. Thank you, girls. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to put this right here. Because okay. I'm next, right? Yep. Thank you. It's a great opportunity to be involved in this project. I'm anxious to see every week how much we move forward and our cooperation with Penn State University and, and um, Mr. Allen and the University in New York. And of course, we're excited that this is, uh, Mr. Dotson was able to join us as this is his second generation experience with this moon tree as well as Mr. Garrett. So thank you very much again for joining us in this exciting project. Boys and girls, we're going to end this morning. Well, actually, I do have something. We need to announce our winner of our patch, our moon tree patch. And so what we did is the students, Mr. Refner could explain it better, but the students designed a patch. Then this patch will be sent away and it will be used. We'll actually have patches made and it will be used to represent our project throughout the next year. So we had seven different designs and yesterday all the school children came in to the library and chose a winner. And I want to share with you if Lily Weber could stand up. Yay. You want to come on up? You have to hold it very carefully. I don't want it to blow, away. It to blow away. But this is our winning patch. You want to share it around? that will be used to represent Holy Trinity's second generation moon tree project. So very nice, congratulations, and thank, thank you. you very much. I'm gonna take it back so it doesn't get ruined. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you to everyone who participated. Every, every patch had votes, so it was very exciting. I have one more thing. Okay. I have to go out and get sick. Okay, we're gonna say a prayer first? Oh yeah, we say prayer. Oh no, yeah. No, 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 no. Okay. All right, I'll be back. <laughs> Okay, so in order for us to kick off our project, I asked Mr. Chardon to come up and play a song that is appropriate for our kickoff of our moon tree, second generation moon tree project. So <laughs> it's all yours, Mr. Chardon. In celebration of the last and the next generation of trees, to boldly go where no other tree has gone before. <laughs> Please enjoy the theme from Star Trek. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to count. Ready? One, two, three. Happy Christmas Day! Yay! Now you may come back. <laughs> Thank you very much. Boys and girls, if we could all stand and end this beautiful afternoon with a prayer. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. God of all creation, we are thankful for all your good gifts, for the brilliance of the sun and softness of the moonlight, for trees and flowers, grasses and shrubs, for animals that prance and prowl, slither and swim, for still breezes and gentle rains, 
for our human bodies founded so wondrously by the work of your hand. Revitalize our efforts to care for the gifts of creation with attentiveness and love so that the earth continues to be a place that sustains life and gives glory to your blessed name. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, God is good. All the time. All the time. God is good. Have a great weekend. Thank you again, everyone, for coming. Thank you. Thank you. God bless.